Welcome back, aspiring entrepreneurs and go-getters. I'm TK, and in this video, you are going to learn six different strategies to increase your reach on Facebook. I promise you that by the end of the video, you will master the art of Facebook marketing. But here's the catch. You must watch it till the end. Now, the difficulty with marketing on Facebook is that you are not going to reach most of your people, including those people following your page. When you create a content on Facebook, your content is going to reach about 2 to 6% of all the people who follows you. And it's not going to reach out to anyone who is not following you. Now, that is why it's so important that we build a Facebook group and create it into a community. But with that being said, there are a couple of strategies that we can implement it in order to increase and improve our reach quite dramatically. Let's take a look at six of these strategies. Let's get started. So strategy number one, to improve your reach is to make sure that all your content is aimed at Facebook, stays on Facebook and brings people into your community, not away from Facebook. And that is why it's beneficial to have your community on Facebook as well. Strategy number two, improve engagement. Now, engagement is key because everyone who interacts with your Facebook page is going to be able to see your future posts as well. And that is how Facebook's algorithm works. So when you create content, especially video content, make sure that you put a teaser in the beginning, like what I did at the start. I promise you that by the end of the video, you will master the art of Facebook marketing. But here's the catch. You must watch it till the end. I told you to watch the video to the end so that you become a Facebook master, right? So they will have to watch at least three seconds of your video that counts as an engagement. And that tells the algorithm that this person is interested in your content. So the next time you create content as your Facebook page, this person is going to see that piece of content as well. So this is how you constantly increase your reach. Facebook is rewarding those with high engagement. So make sure that all of your content is engaging. And that also means creating discussion, having people to react, having people like asking people to comment using any of the post strategies we spoke about it earlier. So engagement is key to increase your reach strategy. So one example would be comment yes down below. This is real, this is real. This is not just an example. All right, comment down below yes if you want me to teach you 10 different post strategies that you can use on Facebook in 2024. So number three, engage as your page. This is going to be important. Wherever you post, wherever you go, if you go into a group, if you are trying to connect with other people, make sure that you always say that as your page, including writing private messages to people because everyone who engages with your page is going to count as someone who is interested in your page. And the Facebook algorithm is going to have them to see your content. So we spoke about this in the previous strategy as well. But in the third strategy, we are extending that it goes for everything, not just posting your content, but also engaging in private messaging using other platforms so that people will land on your page and make sure that your strategy is aimed so that you are going to be pulling those dedicated people into your Facebook group and building that community. But Everything you do, do it as your Facebook page because that's going to increase your reach. So strategy number four, create shareable content. When someone shares your content, that means that you are going to use all of the advantages having a Facebook profile, share your content. Remember profiles who post or share anything that shows to a lot of people than a Facebook page. So when you create shareable content as a page and another one comes in with their profile and they share it, your reach is severely going to increase. And that is only going to happen if you speak to people's identity and you focus on value, value, and value. That's very important. So for example, a very, very shareable piece of content could be freelancer leave 10% longer than regular workers and entrepreneurs. So if you had a piece of content that was about that and you knew that your target audience were freelancers, well, then those people are going to say, Hey, I'm a freelancer. I'm going to leave longer. Look at the advantages that I'm getting over my friends, right? So that's not true, lah, okay? I'm just making things up. And that is a way of speaking to identity. So strategy number five, quality over quantity. And this is a very big one because on a lot of platforms, the key is sort of to create a lot of content. And a lot of content 
means a lot of exposure, which means a lot of results. That is not true on Facebook. We have to remember people use Facebook to talk with their friends, to talk to their families, and this is personal. So when they see their feet and they will see what their grandpa is doing yesterday and that's cozy and interesting to them, your post just pops up. It's going to be something business related and it's going to be boring, yes. They're not going to want to see that and that wouldn't be a good reach. It's not going to get any engagement, which means that you're going to limit your reach. But if it is something that is so value driven that you want to click on it and you want to engage with it, you want to comment with it. So that is how you are going to get results on all of your pieces of content and all of your marketing on Facebook. People are going to see your content in their feeds mixed with all of their personal stuff. So make sure that it's going to be worth their time. So let's look at an example. So here is a great example from HubSpot. And remember, HubSpot is a software that helps marketers to put all of their platform into one place. The pieces of content that they have put out here, it's not about their software. It's not even about them. It's about how they can make the life of entrepreneurs better and easier. And that's going to be personal. Valuable content that people are going to want to engage with it. And when they engage with it, they are going to see more of your content. Now let's look at the example. We get it. Building a business is an exciting and invigorating journey, but it can also be exhausting and emotionally draining. So what can entrepreneurs do to protect their mental health? The Hustle surveyed more than 300 entrepreneurs and here are the top five most popular coping mechanisms for managing stress. Number five, therapy. And that is going to continue to go through the different methods. The point is, this is personal, valuable content that you can mix it in people's newsfeed that is going to be personal enough that they are going to find it interested and engage with you. That means that you are going to increase your reach. So remember, value, value, value. And always remember that your content you mix in people's newsfeed with their personal interactions. It needs to be thought through and highly value driven and quality over quantity. And finally, strategy number six, and this is probably one of the most powerful of them, use Reels. Reels is going to be your only tool to properly reach out to non-followers to see your content, to have them to turn into followers. So Reels is the most popular piece of content on Instagram and it's basically what TikTok is all about. Short form videos are the best pieces of content to be using in your marketing strategy right now. And this is true on Facebook as well. So not only does it have the highest engagement, but this is the only piece of content that is going to reach your non-followers. So I'm on my personal profile right now. And if I go ahead to click on Reels, I'm going to see Reels from completely random people. Otherwise, everything else I'm seeing here, except the ads, is going to be the things that I've interacted with or that I have followed or that I've been part of. But when it comes to real, this is going to be completely from random people. And remember, over 80% of all users are on their phone. And when you go into reels on your phone, the reels are just going to start playing automatically and you can swipe through videos of the videos after videos. It's going to be an insanely powerful marketing tool. So in order to start creating reels, make sure that you are locked in in your business page. And then in here, it's right there as a piece of content you click on the reel and you can start creating your videos so drop a comment below sharing which of the six strategies you are most excited to implement or yes if you want me to teach you how to run ads on facebook 2024 version so there you go those are the six different ways to increase your reach and you need to be using all of them properly leveraging facebook marketing strategies otherwise facebook marketing is going to be very difficult and we even see big brands struggling right here. But if you apply these strategies constantly and properly, you are going to see success and make sure you bring all of these people to your community. With that being said, now you have all the tools you need to be successful with your Facebook marketing. So click here if you want to learn the top 10 post strategies that you can start implementing right away to take your marketing to the next level. And this is all for today's video. Thank you all for staying to the end and kindly like this video if you have learned anything from it and comment any questions you have. Have a nice day ahead. See you next time.